And real quick, I wanted to show the bathtub that I plan on using. It's a cattle trough and water trough, I guess. Okay, it's still pretty open in here and really messy, but we're, we're hoping to finish building the stud walls and enclosing the bedroom here. We got the two bathrooms going and just need to put the siding inside the master bedroom bathroom and yeah so i just put furniture in where you know this is the kitchen area and i got the living room over there there's a bed back there but that's just temporarily because we're going to have a loft and there's enough space for two bedrooms on this side and over here I guess it's gonna be like an L-shaped loft and this side will probably be just for storage okay so here's the carp the shop door roll-up door and then the front entrance and then here is our guest bathroom our bathroom is over here in the master bedroom and I just want to show you real quick this door was free we got it from um, Michael's parents and here is this is not quite finished yet but we did get the siding this is um I was really impressed with this we needed something cheap and this seems to be very good quality it's not the cheapest paneling but it's very strong and it actually looks like real wood and that's what I liked about it and it's waterproof all right so this toilet was free given to us by aunt and uncle and this is just a temporary table to put my handmade soap on and we have to do or I have to do sponge baths the boys go and take their baths in the creek well not all the time but we do go to friends and family to take our showers and we have to since we don't have power yet we're waiting on Alabama power to come out there here and We've been flushing the toilet with the water that we get from the creek and we could actually do it from the well but it's just a it's easier to do it through the creek instead of um, having to go back and, or move the generator back and forth you have to move the generate generator to the service pole um, and it's just quite a distance from there so we just found it easier to do it this way oh and let's see we also got the oven for free my brother was giving it away so and it's in looks like in good shape oh, I want to mention the spray foam we have the whole building spray foamed and it's a it's called closed cell insulation it's not what most people use, the open cell, which goes in and fills in all the cracks and crevices inside the, um, the wall. But the temperature in here right now is 50 degrees. I don't know what it is outside, but the lowest it has gotten in here is 38 degrees when it was 19 outside. So it is helping somewhat, and that's without using any heat whatsoever. The kerosene heater, uh, brings the temperature up only 10 degrees, which I guess, you know, 10 degrees is better than nothing. <laughs> 